the easiest way to tell Google search engine about the structure of your website is by using structured data markup helper simply copy different parts of your website let's imagine you have blog posts then you can paste that URL there do keep in mind you can also you know mark up let's say e-commerce products in this example you then would select products and paste the URL for your product web page here there's also HTML option well what does that mean let's look at the source code of a typical web page I can highlight everything and paste it in there and let's say that's a blog post it will have articles let's start tagging whether we use the URL option or HTML tag option it doesn't really matter because Google will then guide us as to say okay for article markup you need to have title required all you then need to do is highlight the title area and say as, as in select that's the title and here it says author these are you know some schema markup is required and Google help section tells you what is required these are recommended properties let's search for required properties let's look at that one there are no required properties for article so then that's okay for me to say okay if I don't have the author information here I don't need to mark up the author details but what if you did have author details on the article page let's say that's the author then I would say that's an author details date published if you do have date published then all you would need to do is highlight that and say that's date published uh, okay let's say that's the month let's grab that's the month that's the date that's the day and that's the year okay so now this it says here image that's the featured image I would say you know what that's the image but how about the article body then I would highlight the body of the article like so okay because I have a table there let's do that that's the article body so I can do that here as well okay so whatever the tag that Google has highlighted I just need to find that and say that's that whether you're marking up an article or a product and then you just create download and finish yeah. when you do that here it's given us JSON LD example all you all I need to do is put this somewhere on my website but most content management systems won't be able to use this I'm just showing you a basic way to add structured data to your website let's select micro data here it says that's the microdata of the code we've placed that means we just need to look at what Google has changed here because it has added the markup so it's complicated here so I'm not going to go into depth because then we would need more skills so now Google structured data markup helper has created the tagging then we can say that's finished and then you can see you can do testing by placing the code let's come out of that you can highlight that let's copy the code that's a JSON LD format which is a simpler way to add it 
So let's paste the code and test the code to say, hmm, does it support Google rich results? Does Google recognize what's here? Here it gives us, you know what, there are some fields that are optional that we can add. So that's one way to add structured data to your website. In the next video session, Renke will show you even more different ways. In fact, I'm going to show you best of the best ways to add schema markup for Google's rich results. I thank you for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.